we're going to play the game and we're going to really identify with the current state of where it's at. So Dave Oshry, one of our resident superstars who basically knows everyone in the game industry, runs a company called New Blood and, and works for us as well. He had the idea, talking with the PC Gamer team who we love, to get involved with a virtual event they were doing. Now it was super early for us, not good timing really. We coalesced the core technology really well, but it's really hard to show off core technology in a way that looks interesting to anyone other than a programmer. And We'd only just kind of coalesced around what our art style was really going to look like. And here we are trying to produce this trailer. But I think it, it was important for us because we, at that time, realized that maybe we we're gonna to have to do this ourselves without a publisher. And we needed a mechanism to start talking to fans and start experimenting ourselves with how to develop a community and how to even talk to the community. And so that was really what it was all about for us. And it was a pretty big challenge for us to produce that. And I think an incredible result considering where we were at in a short space of time. So we pulled together a team quite quickly um, and it comprised of artists throughout all of the art department. So we did some storyboarding, um, our animators got together and um, made some custom scenes for us, such as the campfire scene, animating driving our cars, and we got to put in a couple of our creatures that we're pretty proud of, um, that really sort of set the scene for what Icarus is. It was great to have the team pull together and be able to create something that was then released out into the world, such a tight turnaround. Playtesting became really important for us, especially during lockdown. It helped us obviously stay connected as a team. We're continually finding new bugs on the, the new features that we've been implementing. Once we got back into the office after lockdown, you know, things really ramped up a lot. We started playing multiple times a week. Um, we found that each time we were playing, you know, the sessions were getting longer and longer. Now it's funny, we're sort of playing late into the evenings and you know, it's been pretty amazing to see that kind of progress that we've made. A big philosophy for us in development is the term played not made. So basically we want to make a lot of our decisions based on the experience that we have in game as players. You know, it's always fun for us to theorize about game design. We definitely still do that a lot, but you know, when we can evaluate the changes that we made, like in real time in the game, you know, we're going to have the same sort of feedback as players will when they're when they're playing the game for the first time. We knew really early on that playtesting was going to be the most important thing we did, and so it was very important for us to get to the point where we were playtesting all the time. And you know, this is really when that started. And, and it was hard for a start to tell people every week, hey, stop what you're doing this afternoon and just play the game. And it seems like a simple thing to do, but you, for many people, they don't realize the game actually kind of sucks at that point. It's kind of just bits of pieces sort of thrown together. We recognized from previous failures that many of us have had through independently how important it was and how core to our company culture that games are played, not made was. And I think if you look at uh, games that have maybe not been super successful that I've had friends that worked on that they thought was going to be very successful. You get that kind of emperor in new clothes thing going on where people might inside maybe have these questions but because they weren't playing it and people were just relying on this sort of institutional belief that it was going to be successful, you don't really get to face that sort of sober assessment of where your game's at. Whereas if everyone's playing it every week, I think it's more in your face the true state of the game. And that was really the birth of it for us was the, hey, we're going to play the game and we're going to really identify with the current state of where it's at.